Hi, Pisces. This is born with a veil. You, either your sun, moon, or rising with Pisces, okay? Um, if you'd like a reading, please scroll back on the videos I made a few days ago. It's got a born with a veil price list. If you don't agree with the price list, you can move on to another psychic. Um, if you're interested, you could text me at 313-401-3707. I do accept sell and I do accept cash app, but not PayPal. I've been screwed over too many times by them. Um, so Pisces, this is your reading from September the 6th, 2nd to the 8th of 2020 or the whole month of September, basically whenever you see this, okay? So let's get on with your reading. Um, two self-conscious. What are you so conscious about? Are you conscious about your body, your relationship, your mate, you? What is it, Pisces? What is it that you are so conscious about? You need to let that go. Submit to me. So your partner wants you to submit to them and only them. Uh, maybe they could be into bondage, um, if not bondage, uh, the sexy lingerie, the uh, stockings. Um, but anyway, um, they want you to submit to them, okay? And try a pair of high heels on too. That would be great. Uh, some of you are definitely role-playing, which is great in a relationship. And then... You drive me crazy. So they're driving you crazy or you, you're driving them or they're driving you crazy. One of the two, sexually. They can't get enough of them. You can't get, they can't get enough of you, you know. Want to make you scream. So there's, it's a lot of screaming going on, Pisces, within your relationship uh, with the stimulation. Um. I think that you need to bring more toys into the relationship, okay? There's someone else. Now, Pisces, um, either you or them have someone else. You could be in a relationship. It could be a three-way love affair, or you're married and you have a mistress or a lover, or you're dating, but there's still someone else. There's someone else there. Now, they could be a male friend, female friend, um, and it has turned into something else for just sex, pleasure, or there's feelings to get involved. Um, but there's definitely someone on the horizon if they're not there now. But I definitely see another person or a three-way love affair. Can't handle you. So your partner can't handle you sexually. Maybe you're too much. Uh, maybe you're too freaky for them. Maybe they're old school. Maybe they just do the basics, and maybe you're more, maybe you're more outgoing, more freaky, or more sensual, more passionate, and you got to make them get used to that, okay? Because sometimes they're not used to that. Sometimes when you go too far in sex, they kind of frown up about it, like, "What are you doing? You know, where did you learn this from? Where did you get that from?" Uh, I'm so hot for you, so you could tell that's a male by the crotch area. He always stays hard for you. Um, he can't get enough of you. He wants sex all the time. Maybe you guys are having sex three to six times a week, three to six times a day, two times a day, whatever it is, this man does not get enough of you. And if you're a man watching, you know that. Waiting for you to come. So they're always waiting for you to come over. They're, they can't wait to see you. They can't wait till you get home. They, I mean, it's just they cannot wait. They're so sexually obsessed with you. Now, here's what some of you have to worry about. Some of you are in it for a booty call. Uh, maybe you have a sugar daddy. Um, maybe you're a sugar mama. Uh, or it could be that you got someone younger. It could be someone older. Um, trading money back and forth. Or it can be um, that you are in a friendship where it's just a booty call. Nothing more, nothing less. And that's okay, whatever floats your boat, as long as there's an understanding there. Yeah, because with the booty call, there's no strings attached. It's maybe just for sex, money, whatever it is. This is not going to resonate with everybody. A lot of people have wonderful relationships. Uh, take the initiative. So somebody wants you to take the initiative more. Maybe somebody's tired of taking the initiative, and maybe it's somebody else's time or turn to take the initiative. Playing hard to get. So somebody's playing hard to get here. 
I don't know if it's because of working long hours, you guys are missing each other, coming and going, doing work. Um, maybe you don't live together. Uh, but there's something there playing hard to get. In your last card, you're my fantasy. So definitely you're their fantasy. Um, they care about you. They love you. Um, they love your body. Doesn't matter if you're big, small, whatever it is. They love your body. They mostly love your eyes and your lips also. Okay? So this is Born With A Veil. If this resonates with you, please give me a thumb up. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if I don't resonate with you, watch my other, other videos. If I still don't resonate with you, I think it's best that you find another psychic that might. Okay? So God bless you, and I will see you later on in September.